Thank you for watching Tower Online News brought to you by Tower Digital Productions and VBN. I'm Grant Delaney. More communications alumni have been added to the Communications Wall of Fame as alumni Jeff Flick, 1982, Steve Raddick, 2003, and Ashley Doherty, 2005, were added to the Communications and Media Arts Wall of Fame. These alumni were chosen and added by Professor M. E. Yankasek Gamble, who was the Communications and Media Arts Department Chair. During a reception on October 2nd, which was also homecoming weekend and the conclusion of Communications Week. Flick is the president and CEO of BD&E, a well-respected marketing firm. Flick has also been the manager for numerous companies, some of them including PPG Industries and Federated Investors. Flick has his Bachelor of Arts in Communications with an emphasis in graphic design from Bethany College. He also attended Rochester Institute of Technology for postgraduate work. Raddick is the Vice President, Director of Public Relations and Content in Integration at Bruner in Pittsburgh. He came to Bruner after working for the Public Relations Department at Kramer Crassel in Chicago. Raddick's current position at Bruner involves him using media and public relations in an advertising and marketing. Doherty works for WTAE-TV in Pittsburgh, where she is the weekend meteorologist. She was formerly employed for WTRF in Wheeling and was hired by WTAE in 2012. In addition to having a Bachelor of Arts in Communications from Bethany, Doherty received her Certificate of Meteorology from Mississippi State University. In sports, junior Alexis Castro led the volleyball team to a 3-0 conference victory over Grove City College as part of a tri-match on Saturday afternoon. Castro totaled the highest hitting percentage of any vice in the season. Castro finished the contest with 13 kills. Field hockey had a rough outing dropping a contest on Sunday to Bridgewater College 7-1. Senior Courtney Snyder posted a career-high 24 saves in the loss. Snyder has played every minute in goal for the Bison this season. In a high-scoring affair, Bison football dropped an in-conference game to number 16, Washington and Jefferson. Junior Jalen Holmes paced the Bethany offense in the team's 66-42 loss. Holmes posted a career-high 180 yards and two touchdowns on 24 carries. The rushing output marked Holmes' fourth 100-yard rushing game of the season. The Bethany College men's soccer team was defeated 3-1 by Washington and Jefferson in a President's Athletic Conference action on Saturday evening. The Bison suffered their first loss at home of the 2015 campaign. Women's soccer, who also tangled with W&J, fell by a score of 5-1. Now we go to Giuliano DeVito at Bison Stadium for an interview with the new lacrosse coach. Thanks a lot, Grant. I'm standing by here at the rec center with the new lacrosse coach, Coach Ryan Hilliard. Coach, tell us a bit about your lacrosse background. Um, I come from Teal College, is where I uh, was my, my last job. I was the assistant coach um, there. I was there for three for three seasons. Played lacrosse at Silver Rock uh, University, and before that, I played at um, Mercer Center. What do you plan on doing to bring a winning culture to the place? Recruiting. Uh, number my number one um, you know, priority as soon as I get here. Um, this is actually my first day here, so um, you know we're putting together a nice recruiting plan and also. You know, to build, to build uh, the, the talent that we have right now. Tell us what about Bethany attracted you to take this head coach. The faculty members, the, the staff members that I met were all very supportive. All seemed like uh, amazing people. Um, so far, everyone I've met has been nothing but amazing to me. This is Coach Ryan Hillier, the brand new lacrosse coach. Welcome to Bethany. And thank you very much. For thank you. Appreciate it. Now we go to the Bison Recreation Center for an interview with volleyball player Julia Mouse. How special was senior night to you this year? It's really special, obviously, being able to celebrate your senior year is a big accomplishment. Four years in the program and our underclassmen really do a great job of helping us out. Getting us there and they made it really special and then, of course, coming with a pack win and another win that day was a great experience. Everyone kind of does their own thing to keep each other positive. We're really motivated to get sparks off of each other, so we really look for each other to lift us up. So it's not just a senior job, it's not just a junior job, it's everyone is a big part of the team. What are you guys doing this year to bring a pack championship home for Bethel? Really like looking, pulling everything together. We have a lot of talent amongst the team. It's really just getting that intensity, that spark. We want is that we are a very emotional, very passionate team. We all want to win. We play as much passion as we can. That's all she wrote this week. I'm Grant Delaney. Thank you for watching Tower Online News brought to you by Tower Digital Productions and BBN. Educate yourself, Bethany.